In this video net interview at IBC 2011, I'm speaking with Jonathan Guthrie, CEO at PayWizard. Hello, Jonathan. Good morning. Um, you've just announced another new customer, FilmFlex, which is a white label online VOD provider um, for your payment mechanism. I mean, what's what's the main reason that they chose you? They chose us because of the uh, the ease of use of the uh, PayWizard pay system, the flexibility, the, uh, the features such as the vouchers, the ability to support subscriptions and micropayments, uh, and the ability to give back to the retailer the uh, the customer data that they need to uh, to drive the business. Okay, I mean, obviously, um, we know that sort of payments will become more important online, especially as people start to try and monetize online content and multi-screen. Um, I mean, there are other ways of doing it. I mean, uh, you mentioned a few of them. They just tell us a bit more about the data, for example, as a, a sort of a unique selling point. Well, data is data is key uh, online, and as as we know, we can't. Uh, continue to monetize by giving everything free uh, over the internet. So having that data so that you know who your customer is, you can generate a relationship with the customer, you can market to them, you can uh, work on churn retention and up, up, upgrading and upselling uh, different propositions and, uh, and services is, is absolutely vital. So that information is really absolutely essential. Okay, I mean we're, we're hearing a lot about the, uh, the second screen. And um, I mean, first of all, does the second screen make it easier to transact and will it actually lead to people transacting more when they don't have to do it on a main TV and distract from what they're actually watching now? I mean, do you think that sort of things like the tablets in the home could actually drive more sort of online payments, if you like? Well, I think quality content, premium content to a tablet device is a, uh, is, is a customer proposition that you can charge for in a way that's actually much harder to do on uh, online to a, to a PC or, or a laptop. So I think uh, people uh, are getting used to paying for things on tablets and on smartphones uh, and they haven't traditionally been uh, used to paying for things uh, on the internet uh, and therefore mixing and matching uh, these services is, is important, yes, in terms of driving ARPU, of course. Okay, I mean, we're also hearing a lot about um, synchronisation of the, the tablet with what's happening on the main screen. I mean, it seems like, potentially, um, if you can sort of know what people are buying at any given moment, and we've, we've heard that people want to sort of synchronise ad spots, for example, with what they're watching on the main screen. I mean, is there an opportunity to, um, to sort of understand what people are doing on that companion screen at exactly the same time that they're watching the main screen and then sort of get sort of deals to them in time to actually make a difference during an ad break? Absolutely, and the key, to, the key to that is actually capturing the data in the uh, in the in, in the underlying customer management system, uh, and uh, with PayWizard that's done sort of real time, uh, and therefore if you have a, uh, a, a proposition that you want to uh, offer to or, or an advert, as you, you say, to a particular group of customers who are using particular uh, services, then that can be done real time, definitely. Okay, and ease of use obviously is key. Um, you've talked about the one, the one, uh, one click purchase. One click, one purchase. Yep. Um, I mean, what's the feedback so far from the customers that are using it? I mean, do you, um, you know, do people then go on and make other purchases on the basis of that? Uh, ab absolutely. I mean, in the traditional sort of internet world where there's kind of a shopping cart and then you go to a different place and check out and, 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 and buy and then go back and sort of consume, that doesn't really work. In the, in the media space, in the media space, it's got to be easy. You're, you're there to to be entertained, and for that user experience, that user journey is uh, absolutely essential. So uh, you don't want to feel that you're going and doing different transactions all the time. It's all about entertainment. Therefore, just the, the, by the click of a button, to be able to uh, to consume content that you want to consume quickly and easily uh, is, is is essential. Okay, and what, what are the next steps for you now? I think the, ne the next step is to continue to add on the, uh, the features that we've got, move into uh, uh, mobile space, so actually we can move out of the uh, broadcast sphere into the high street uh, with mobile payments, uh, and then to, uh, to build on that and to build on that internationally. Okay, and just finally, are we going to sort of get more, a, a more diverse range of things that can be paid for? in the multi-screen world. I mean, people talk about apps now as a potentially a way to monetize content further. I mean, do you think apps is a, a sort of a, a market for, for new monetization and actual transactions 
beyond just content itself? I think the short answer is yes. The apps are themselves uh, uh, valuable and you can monetize that way and, uh, and, and consume content within apps, uh, even though you might be paying off app for, the, uh, for that purchase. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for your time and uh, it's great speaking to you. Thank you. Thanks.